talking about the invasion what the heck is that aragorn the one man army Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sanasia and I'm my name is In today on a beautiful map, Fangon Forest in battle for middle of one on a patch 2.2, we're gonna play a 1v1 matchup against the mutated AI. The mutated AI. The mutated AI. So that's not a regular hard army, trust me on that one. That's gonna be a whole different experience and hopefully you will also be surprised as much as I was when I was playing against this for the first time. And if you wanna give it a shot, I will share the link in the description down below to our Discord. You can download it and just simply place it in your installation folder and experience the nightmare yourself, okay? Okay, so we are playing Rohan against Gondor. Early game, we need to capture as many settlements as we potentially can because we can't hold these farms outside for a long duration. We, we will lose them eventually, but until this moment, we should be trying to make sure that we get enough money because we will need a time. You know, we will need time more than anything else. We will need Eoma, the Horse Lord of Rohan. That's going to be the first hero we're going to recruit to get into level 4 for the Horse Lord leadership. And then Theorian King, and then Rohirrim, Rohirrim Archer, Heavy Armor, Forge Blades, you know, Horseman Shields, Fire Arrow Upgrade for the Rohirrim Archer, so we need lots of time. And hopefully we won't be defeated until this moment, you know? And uh, unfortunately you cannot make the AI really smarter, even though this AI is way smarter than the normal insane AI videos you have eventually watched on my channel, this one is not cheating that much. It's, you know... It's actually doing crazy stuff and hopefully you will also be amazed and let me know what you think about this one in the comment section down below. Our early game is not looking too bad. We have a level 2 peasant and our hobbit is blocking the settlement, that's good. Um, we will get Eoma very soon and then we will need to get Theoden on the field, you know, Rohirrim stable and all that good stuff. Okay, Elma is here, that's good. We can now spear throw one of the Gundanites. Unfortunately, you see, like he has a great mix of everything. So we changed the build order, so the AI is not building random stuff anymore. Has no empty spot in the base, and is also able to utilize the full potential of the defensive capabilities of the Gundam faction. For example, this AI is able to build Stormwalker, you know, with the laser towers. Bunch of towers around the fortress for the great defense, so not only the offense of the AI got improved, no, but also the defensive part. So it's gonna be not a walk into the park anymore when it comes to destroy a heart. Arrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
he's cheating. If you don't know, the AI, the heart AI in BFME 1 has like a bonus. So they deal a bit more damage, they are a bit more tanky, they have more production speed, you know. And this combined with this AI makes the Easter Elite one shot our Theodin. Which again will cost us a lot of momentum. Now we need to chill and wait and and look at this. There is a trebuchet. In one hour, one of our Rohirrim couldn't get inside. Like we are getting rolled right now by the mutated AI. Oh boy. The thing is, I don't want to inc I don't want to include this into the patch 2.22 because I believe, I mean, I'm pretty certain actually, that 99% of the people who are playing this game can't handle this AI. For that reason, it's going to be like an optional file. If you want to give it a shot, you can or you need to, in this case, download it manually and place it in your installation folder. I think it's a little bit too much, you know, to make it public and put it as an official hard army version into the patch 2.22. Unfortunately, you cannot add a different additional you know difficulty to the game there is only three available spots so easy hard, medium and hard and you can't add brutal for example you can only rename one of the existing ones but that's it we need to kind of find a way to kill this Gandalf it's gonna give us a lot of power points and in order to make it even more challenging I'm will I will try my best I can't promise it but I will try my best to win this game without the need of the EOD okay but we gotta find a solution uh, the AI is now able to build multiple siege weapons at the outpost so when you play on a map like Westfold or in this case the Fangon Forest with at least four outposts two on each side then you will be siege from both the sides all the time which, you know, when you play with the castle faction like Rohan and Gondor, the only threat the AI has against you is sieging your castle. If they never build siege weapons against you, then you can sit in your base all the time and there is no danger zone, you know? So the AI is definitely made so it will siege you, but not at the very first minute, like the insane AI did, you know, which was not fun to play against. This one is a bit more realistic. It's still cheating though, don't get me wrong. It has like infinite money. You will also see at the end of the game the amount of money the AI collected versus the money we collected. And they are also, you know, the Gondor now is able to get the marketplace at the beginning of the game. You see, they have the Grand Harvest animation. They are getting lots of money from these farms outside. I mean, for now, we can only hit and run basically we can get out a little bit you know for a couple of seconds kill something and then get back into into the castle because we have no upgrades yet our Yorohirim are very vulnerable and losing one of them is gonna slow us down even further and we can't we must not do this you know we must be careful about the situation and play it a bit smart smart means most of the time slow the second i say that i'm gonna use glorious shot and write it down right now Okay, the good thing is we have Elma Outlaw leadership. It means we get money for every unit we kill, which, you know, scales with the levels of the heroes. When we kill a level 5 Gandalf, we will get less money than when we kill a level 10 Gandalf. But hopefully, the Gandalf from the AI will not get level 10, because it is able to use the War of Power properly, and it's a pain for the experience. Okay, so far we are in a good spot, we will have all the upgrades very very soon, then we need to build the archer range and get it to level 2 to purchase the fire arrows, we will need that. As you can see the AI is definitely getting lots of tower guards on the field, and our Rohirrim all alone can't deal with this current situation, that's why we will need something that can take down the Rohirrim archers, and Aragorn is not an option right now, it's gonna be just a bit too expensive at this current stage of the game, but later on again, when we get a bit more map control, hopefully, we can also recruit you know, the three hunters, like Gimli, Aragorn and Gimli. <laughs> Gimli, Aragorn and Legolas, not two times Gimli. There is a Boromir, but we can avoid him. And we need to kind of go for the structures, I believe. We need to kind of find a way to capture the outpost and kind of hold it. I don't know if it's going to be possible to hold it, because we will have to split the army in two pieces, and our army is not very strong right now to be splitted. 
but I will I will try my best to make it happen, you know? Okay, so the outpost destroyed, that's good. It's gonna buy us at least a bit more time from the bottom side, so we won't be getting siege from the bottom side, and we will also now need to move to the top side. So in a map like this, you need to be kind of like, um, you need to have like a strategy in your mind, you know? You need to work your way up slowly but surely. You can't move from the bottom and leave the top, and you know, uh, open for um for a potential invasion. Talking about the invasion, what the heck is that? <laughs> the last march of the trebuchet. No, not the level 9. They can't move. Man. That stinks. I mean, I'm gonna, I need to use glory. Can you guys, can you imagine that? The trebuchet are so annoying and he's spamming them. Look, we're gonna lose the gate now. Holy guacamole. And Elma cannot move. Porom is like, sit down, horse master. But don't worry, Rohan. Don't worry, I got you, bro. Oh, I missed the heal on Elma too, dude. I, I told you guys, I'm rusty, you know? Forgive me. I think the Cloud Break is gonna buy us some time. Let's repair the git and... Uh, I, I was I, I was hoping that the human archers are gonna make it to the citadel, but they couldn't. We need to get in actually, you know, kind of fight around the well. That means we can heal up while we are fighting, you know, we should be in a good spot. Now it's time to recruit Rohirrim archers. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, you know, put my Rohirrim archer at the bottom outpost, we just captured, and then we move with the Rohirrim forward to just focus down the structures. Because we cannot just, you know, simply capture the outpost and then leave it you know one single battle tower is not gonna make it uh, safe for a long duration at least and we will eventually lose it and you don't want to do that so when you conquer you don't want to lose you, you don't want to go one for one you know then because one minus one is still zero <laughs> so we don't want this to happen we need to capture protect and capture again destroy the trebuchet do it it they are so painful to deal with because they are able to knock our units and even heroes down on the ground you know it's so painful to deal with them. Oh, look this, man. Ganeth is just blasting our well. What a meme, right? But we have the white wizard. It has to be good for something. We need to... Um, <laughs> this is painful. We, we need, okay, we need to uh, now commit to this area completely with all our units. And we can also use Glorious Charge. There we go. We gotta kill Ganeth, though. That's very important. And Gandalf is now mid, so he will always easter light one of your heroes. But the good thing is, he's gonna easter light our Theorian, as you can see. In our Theorian, with the Glorious Charge, is a bit tanky, right? And our heroes are also leveled now, they don't get one-shotted. Okay. Okay, we need to now capture this one. Die, Gandalf. One trample is all it takes. Okay, before we're gonna make it to the second outpost, what I wanna do is I wanna secure the first outpost we just, you know, lost and then recaptured. And then move to the top side. Because it's annoying when we get siege from the top side all the time. You know, look at this. The second we move on, the siege will continue. He's focusing down our citadel. We have EOD, but I, I told you guys, I'm planning to not use it. <laughs> I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> I, I hope I'm not gonna use it. I don't need to use it. Let's hope for it. I'm gonna use heal here. Once the well is up on the field, we should be in a good spot. Let's use the sword with the Alvin warriors and take down the trebuchet. Okay, so we should be hopefully able to protect this outpost now with the Rohirrim Archer Battalion. And with the normal Rohirrim, we need to try our best to commit on other sides of the map. And can you imagine, during all this time, we have not, we were not even able to get to see the enemy fortress one single time. You see, like here's Stormworker. And the white walls can tell you that he that he has the Numenorean Stormwork upgrade, so he definitely purchased it. As well as the post on the gate, you know, you know the, the gate upgrade to make the gate a bit more tanky. There's also marketplace upgrades. So money for the AI is definitely not a problem. Okay, we need to kind of destroy this outpost if we can. Money is not looking too bad. I think we can also go for Aragon very, very soon, uh, but not for now. We have also lots of power points. We have definitely enough for Anduril Sword. Um, the one thing you need to understand is, if you in this game recruit Gandalf or Aragon, you need to make sure that you have always, in always, 
the Anduril Sword for Aragorn and the Gun of the White Power Point for your Gandalf. It's very important. Without these power points, your heroes, they are not worth their price. You know, I mean, obviously Aragorn might be even worth for 3,500, but Gandalf for 6,000 is not worth it. Because it's not white, he can barely ride on his horse and he cannot even use the Easter Light. And his spells deal 50% more less damage and has like double the recharge time, you know. Like this is an essential power point for Gandalf. Without it, it's, he's just too weak. I mean, let's stun them, let's use Elven Wood for additional armor, and we should be in a good spot, hopefully. Um, they are taking too much damage, that's the problem. And we still don't have enough units, but hopefully with Aragorn and Aragorn's leadership we might make something happen, but even Aragorn has to be careful about situations like this, you know? Because the trebuchet, or generally speaking the, the siege weapons in this game, are just, you know, hitting like an absolute truck, and you should and you cannot underestimate their damage output. You see this perfect situation, we are fighting around the well, as we are fighting we are regenerating, respawning the units we are losing, and as long as we don't lose a full battalion, everything is under control. Now let's use Aragorn as a bait, uh, bait, him in, uh, bait him in, and then you see, he was rebuilding everything as we have destroyed it, <laughs> that's also new. The AI normally wouldn't even capture the outpost, and if you if if the AI captured the outpost and you destroy one of the buildings, they would never ever rebuild it. So everything that you are able to see in this game is brand new to this one specific file. You need to download and give it a shot. You can play obviously against any faction. Um, I have not tried with the evil factions yet. I don't think it's possible to win against this AI with like Isengard or Mordor. But let's make a deal. If this video. Ca you know, gets like 400 likes, I will try my best to win it as Isengard or Mordor. You can let me know in the comment section down below which army you want me to play against this AI, against which AI, if it should be Gondor again or Isengard or Mordor or Rohan, you can let me know in the comment section down below and I will give it a shot multiple times until we hopefully make it or it's gonna be a video of me getting destroyed by this AI, okay? Deal? Deal. Okay, that's good. Um, very good actually. So we, when we destroy this, we capture this one, and we are gonna be in a very good spot. We have heal on cooldown, we gotta be careful about this situation. And now what we can do is we can, after destroying this, we can group our army to the bottom side and then move on. The plan is to destroy every single outpost. That means the only remaining thing, and the only thing we have to destroy to win this game, is going to be the enemy castle. Um, but I think we need to kind of build now. <laughs> I'm gonna recruit, you know, Legolas now, I think. Let's go Legolas, and... What we can do later on is we can use Legolas to kill heroes like Gandalf, you know, Boromir or Faramir. Get him some levels, and the second our Legolas is gonna be level 5 or 6 or 7, he's also gonna hit like a truck, especially against heroes in units. Not that much against Trebuchet. I represent the elves of the Woodland Realm. I'm Prince of the Mirkwood Elves. Okay. Oh, we need to heal up a little bit more, I think. The bottom side is kind of under control, that's good. We keep sending a couple of trebuchet, but it's not a big deal. We should be able to deal with that. Gandalf is not mounted on his horse. He is on the foot. That means he has no escape possibility. He will die against Aragorn. Nobody beats Aragorn in a one-on-one -on -one situation, in a, in a melee fight, you can't. But I, instead of giving it to Aragorn, I want to give it to Legolas. Hold on, one more. Okay, now move on Aragorn and Legolas, kill him. Look how much experience we will get for killing... You see, we got four levels on our Legolas for killing Gandalf. Like, that's the thing. These expensive heroes, they are key to victories, but they are like a double-edged sword. If you lose them, you will feed so many power points and also experience points to your opponent. It means in a multiplayer game, you want to make sure to not ever lose your Gandalf, you know? That's dangerous. Very dangerous. Because it will, you know, cost you lots of money, time to revive him. And on top of that, you also make your opening a very happy man. Or a, or a woman. But quite stressful game, as you can see. We need to pay attention to every single area. 
And I think macro in this game is very important, especially against this AI. I want to make sure to get map control first before we're going to move on. Unfortunately, when I was talking about macro, I didn't pay attention to my Aragorn and he's dead. He's dead. The king. And Gondor killed his own king. Can you imagine that? Gondor. Where was Gondor when Aragorn fell? Yeah, we killed Aragorn. He's not the king. He's only a strider. That's what Denethor would like to see. But he is, of course, not right. Who can? How can be a person right who is threatening his his own son and you know treating him like he does in the films? I was always feeling bad for Faramir. And now you might say, but James, you are always making fun about Faramir, about his quality. But because I like him, you know, I I, I genuinely uh, like him a lot. And I'm kind of sad that he got treated the way he got from his daddy. Nobody deserves that. Whatever you do, nobody deserves that. And he was not even a bad person. He was actually a good son, you know? Oh, Gimli, man. Why are you so weak? Oh, Cloudbreak doesn't stand level 3 or higher units. Gimli has been seen by soldiers of Gondor. You are soldiers of Gondor. Whatever comes through this gate, stand your ground and then you see a mountain troll or, or an attack troll you know coming through the gate i would i mean i wouldn't run for my life when there is gandalf fighting next to me but realistically speaking imagine you are a soldier of gondor you have been trained but you was never really in a war situation and then your big city which you know seems to be un unreachable and destroyable is being breached the gate and you are there waiting there, you know, N next to a wizard, you don't even know, <laughs> you know, and he's telling you, whatever comes through this gate, hold your ground, and you don't know what's gonna come through this gate, you are expecting a couple of pleb orcs, you know, mindless orcs, but at the end of the day, the gate is getting broken, and the first thing you are encountering and experiencing is a 5 feet or 10 feet big fat attack troll running you down, what would you do? That's the question. Would you fight or would you scream like a little girl and run for your life? I I mean, I'm a 31, thir almost 32 years old guy, you know? And I would be a liar if I say I would stand and fight for my city, for my people. No. What should I fight for? For Denethor? Hell no, bro brother. You know what I'm saying? I would just run for my life and put Denethor next to the trolls. I would just grab my family and my friends and run for my life to Rohan, you know? <laughs> Rohan, save me! Oh my goodness, too many rangers, too many tower guards, but you should be in a good spot. Now the plan is to go for the victory situation, boys. I think we have experience enough um, from this AI. As you can see, the power points usage from the AI got kind of limited or even completely denied. Um, the reason is simple, when you play against AI like this, they are able to get power points way faster and if they can utilize that and actually use their power points like rangers cloud break and AOD, uh, you have like little to no chance of winning this successfully you know and it will be delete like really long because we tried it one single time the ai was actually able to detect your units on the map and use AOD on top of your units every single time every five minutes they would kill your army it would not make almost the game impossible to be won, but also it would be like a loop situation, you know? Then you need to use your power points for defense, the second you are ready to go, the AI using the EOD to kill your army, you know? And it's like a loop situation. I think I was playing like an hour and, an hour and ten minutes game until I just finally gave up, you know? It wasn't over, I could still keep playing, but I, uh, there was no point. It was like a loop situation. You are ready to go, EOD comes on your army and you lose, you know? It's just not fun. The, the 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 idea behind this project was always in my personal opinion to make it more enjoyable you know a bit more challenging but definitely doable like a challenge should be still doable otherwise it's not a challenge you can make it impossible you can make them you know summon eod or get level 10 heroes like the insane ai did for example the insane ai was able to get level 10 heroes right off the bat Yana would join as level 10 and would be able to use war of power immediately they would get, get AOD within 5 minutes automatically without fighting. But it's just not fun you know, to play against this, in my opinion. Aragorn, the one-man army. So we need to build a little bit, actually. We are taking too much damage. Let's fight next to the well. Our Legolas inside the Citadel is actually doing a phenomenal job. Now, the last march of the ends begins. 
Look how tanky the wall is. Do you see this, boys? With the Nomonori and Stormworker, look. We have like eight ants shooting with their rocks against this one part, one piece of the giant white strong wall of the Gondor. And they need to hit like each time, at bare minimum three, four times to destroy it. Can you imagine how tanky the walls are with the Nomonori and Stormworker? Look, they are building towers. In these towers, they are laser towers. They will be able to shoot with the empowered arrows from the Stonework upgrade. Gimli is back in the business, that's good. Look, our three hunters, you know, Gimli, Regoras, and Aragorn holding solo, like the three men are holding the outpost completely by themselves. And we have not summoned EOD, as promised. I'm a man of my word. To be fair, also the AI didn't summon them. <laughs> if the AI would summon them, I would be screwed. Like, imagine AI summoning right now on my big giant army. Everyone is level 10. A AOD and kills every one of them. Look how the towers are shooting. Pew, 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 you know? It's crazy. But GG well played, I think we got this. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. It, it's something else, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know, like, most people who are playing with me in 2022 are casual players. And you, potential, you who are watching, you are also a casual player yourself. And you don't want to join multiplayer, you know, I can understand and respect that. But if you are looking for a challenge, you know, if you're like, okay, I, I like this game, I like to play single player, but it's a bit too easy, then you can give it a shot, download the file in our Discord, PFME Files channel, and give it a try. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like on this video and also subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself, keep hitting like a truck, and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.